Hello, right. Dan and Phil Games ladles. Ladles? Yeah. Gonna make a delicious soup out of all of you. What that was creepy. <laughs> what flavour of the audience? I don't know. A parsnip, leek and potato, mushroom, little bit of magical seasoning, my own secret recipe. This got creepy. Dan, have you ever wished that you could run your own restaurant? Run a restaurant? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, that's not something I think about often, but I suppose it would be okay. Well, today you get to live that dream as we are playing World Chef. So this was made by the people that made Dragon City, uh -huh. and they told me they had a new game that uh -huh. wasn't about dragon breeding, it was about food. Breeding? Not food just, breeding. Just food. Just food. Okay. Hopefully we won't be eating flame, Susan. That's all I'm saying. World Chef. Wish I had a moustache like that guy. <laughs> so you may be wondering why my restaurant looks so swaggy. It's is because it, I may have been playing this game for a little while already. Is that where you've, you've been for it, yes. hours at a time? That is where I've this been. Would explain a lot. I would like to introduce you to <laughs> Phil Donald. <laughs> really? Really? You, you named your, your game restaurant Phil Donald? Yeah, so creative okay. name, right? Good thing that this isn't your dream to be a chef. Hey! So what is this game? What do you do? Well, you create and run your own restaurant. And that's Phil Donald's. This is, is Phil it? Donald's. Okay. And you make different kinds of food and serve customers, then try and level up to make fancier kinds of food. And then you become the ultimate restaurant and destroy the world! <laughs> I don't think is it goes that, that far. Is that how it goes? I mean, I haven't reached the end of the game I yet. I presume that's the end game of yeah. the restaurant royal. Ultimate domination. Okay. So, it's it's a restaurant simulator. Yeah. Give us all a tour of your wonderful restaurant then. What have you got going on? Alrighty. Well, here is my sign with my Phil Donald statue outside. Uh-huh. Is the that you? Who is that a statue of? That's me in the future. <laughs> I mean, look well, at me. You have a great moustache <laughs> going on there, Phil. Imagine having a statue built of you. That's like the ultimate achievement. Outside your own restaurant. Who would do that? Maybe me. Imagine if you went to like Gordon Ramsay restaurant there was just like a giant Gordon head outside. Yeah. That would be pretty incredible, actually. <laughs> I want to a Gordon head in my normal house. Although pigeons do poo all over it, so you've got to think of that. You just basically... But that's what happens to anybody that goes down in history. You just become like a, a pigeon litter box. A huge pigeon toilet. So this, <laughs> this is my like restaurant. We've gone off tangent. Yeah, your restaurant. Here are my people queuing to get in. There's Kanye West. <laughs> Clearly Kanye West. Kanye. Oh, there's a blonde woman behind him. Yeah. I was like, is he wearing like a Donald Trump toupee <laughs> or something? No, that is a blonde lady behind Kanye. Uh, old lady and a dog. Creepy little girl who looks like she's definitely about to murder someone. I think she is. You allow dogs in your restaurant, do you? Yeah, we That's do. It's very good. All animals allowed in Phil Donald's. Crocodiles. Yep. <laughs> Twelve crocodiles. Okay. Will get seat. Those guys look like they got money. Wow, yeah. there's lots of old ladies there with are. dogs. It must be one of those towns. Serve a lot of cream teas. Love a good cream tea. Have you decorated this? Do you I decorate have decorated. This game? You can decorate your own restaurant. <laughs> there, there is decoration. Sorry, the, the decoration alarms just went uh, off in my head. We will get to That's that. That's a half an hour chunk that you can look forward to <laughs> in some point, right? These are my sassy waiters. <laughs> look at Every, their faces. Everybody in this game looks so sassy. What, what do you want to name her? Uh, that's that's Lucinda. <laughs> that's a sassy name. Hey, I'm Lucinda. <laughs> Right, and then what's that guy? Blake. Blake, <laughs> right, yeah. They're not all sassy. Here's my barbecue guy. He, wow. Barbecue good. Bill. That is, you know, with a cowboy hat. Yeah. Looks like somebody who handles beef. He looks like a good friend. You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? That he's somebody that, you know, ranches. Yeah. What do you think I was saying? He's a rancher. Ooh, disgusting. Yeah, so he's the grill chef. Okay. Then we have the dough helper. The dough helper, okay. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I love having a dough helper in my restaurant. I think he's the evil twin of the waiter. They look very similar. God, he's sassy. Uh, then we have another grill helper. grill helper. He looks like a happy chappy. <laughs> then we have the anti-pasty chef. Wow, Phil, I don't want to alarm you, but it would appear there is a large wad of cheese on that table. Not just that, if we go over here, we have the milk helper oh, who no. just makes cheese. Oh no! Is that the, the dairy specialist? Yeah. Is that, is that why you put her in the corner? So I, you don't I, have to smell her. I put her in the corner of shame. Is that with an aquarium behind That's her? That's the aquarium I bought! Oh! There's all my fish. Is that just for decoration or do you eat them? Um, <laughs> you don't fish your own tropical uh, fish okay. down there. That's probably a feature, knowing some restaurants. Oh. And then here's the delivery boy who I think is having an affair with the anti-pasty chef. That, I've, as we know, all delivery boys. Yeah. I mean, side. look at his face. He he services some cougars. That's <laughs> no denying that. So that is Phil Donalds, and here are all my customers sat down enjoying their lovely oh, meals. You got Kim Kardashian. So that was Phil Donalds, but okay. there is a whole world out there. Dan. Oh my god! It's we like the Sims. Out. There's yeah. a whole town to explore. <laughs> so here is the swimming pool zone that can be unlocked Wait, what? at level 17. Why does a restaurant need a swimming pool? You can just what? swim along with a burger in your mouth. Oh my god, a pool bar. Yeah. Goals. That would okay. be great. This... And then there's a beach. This looks very. Watch out for uh -huh. crabs. There's Winston. Can you like catch them? I'm gonna tap on the crab. 
Oh, you can just make him jump. No, I'm just- Stop abusing my crab! I love that you can tap the crabs on the beach. That you seems- scared Oh, him. it's in the sand! Oh, What a completely unnecessary but <laughs> nice little feature. Can you poke the starfish? The starfish isn't sentient. It's dead. Here it is the market where you can buy lots of food for the restaurant. With market Jeff. Here's the academy where people learn to be better chefs. Oh my god, like food wars. Yeah. Can't imagine the drama that happens there. And nakedness. Tr there's a there's a lot of that. But is there any butts in this game? Um, not so it's far. A butt free game, people. But we can, can grammar. we can have hopes. And then out here is the great wilderness. It's oh, a, it's a little it's a baby, baby boar. boar on the. Th and then you're gonna turn it into ham. Uh, yeah. The reality of meat. That's the reality coming of at you in this game. Donald. No, my animal are all genetically modified. Is that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's just, let's, just let's get just back to on. the game. That, you have a helicopter landing pad? That's where Kanye arrives. How fancy is this place? What do you actually do? Teach me how to play. Right. These people have sat down and they want to order some food. I'll start off with this guy because yeah. it's just one. Let's not try to <laughs> serve. He wants a burger and an espresso. A very Does unusual that combination. That doesn't complete. go together. Right, so how do we make a burger? That's like brushing your teeth and eating an apple. <laughs> I'm right, guessing go to grill Grilly guy. Gary. Look, at, I'm just guessing this, right? Oh. On there. They, okay, but we need some beef. Oh no. Oh, we need some ingredients. <laughs> Go to the market. Okay, which is this over here. We need some beef, mate. Now you need to get the patties made by this guy. So by that happy chappy. Drag these onto it. There we Three. go. Three. Oh, you did two. Oh. You, uh, you could have done another one. That's, that's fine. fine. It doesn't matter. Now look at him working <laughs> his magic. He loves He's his job. Really good. Oh, look at that Little sassy salt shake. <laughs> so he's busy making your beef. He loves life. No yeah. complaining. You can speed him up if you want by clicking him. Speed. I just touched your no, window. Don't touch my window. Touch the beef. Okay. Oh, pay a gem to skip it. Yeah. I see. Right. And this one. Why speed not? the beef. Now that's gone into your inventory. Now you can go to the grill man. Hello. Over there with your buns looking all menacing. And you drag that onto there. Boop. Oh, and there we go. And There's he's making it with all the ingredients. <laughs> what is he going to do? He's lassoing That's just the beef. I mean, it took him far longer to lasso that than it would have for him to just... I want to lasso things in my real life. I'd pay to just see somebody lasso some beef onto a burger. Definitely. Imagine that in the real world, you'd just be like, TV remote! Yeah, you learn to lasso, and I let's will. see what a great idea that is. That'll end badly. So what are we doing first, then? Well, as you are now part owner of Phil Donald's... Am I? I've already been promoted to yes. part owner. Get 50% of the dosh, people. I bestow that upon you. Those restaurant stacks. <laughs> I thought you could help me expand, mm -hmm. and also recruit some new chefs. Sure, because what does that mean? How do you do it? People have started wanting some fancy food, and I can't serve them yet. Well, let's learn how to make their... Fancy tastes. All right. Well, firstly, I need to move these plants because they're just like that's very in the way. They yeah. were my cheese scent blocking you, you plants. Need... <laughs> <laughs> you need me to add some feng shui to this. Yeah. It's decorating. Decorate. I got this big window at the front because I wanted it to be like Dill's future home with the aspirational windows. Yes. But then, much like Dill, did you realize you couldn't afford? Yeah. The, uh, yeah <laughs> I ran okay. out of money around that side. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, if we're going by levels of symmetry and this, that, and the other, mm. by all means, Phil, it's pretty disgusting. It I'm is. just going to put this I'm out sorry. there. I mean, what what do we have to work with? Put the with? plants in front of the window so then they can see some greenery. Okay. But you also want to see people dining. Always put the good-looking people next to the window. And you're like, <laughs> you can't just judge your customers <laughs> like that. Oh, my God. Uh, I think it should go next to... The delivery man. He needs somewhere to hide behind the bushes with the antipasti lady. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's a plant to cover your shenanigans, <laughs> delivery boy. Right. Right. And now we, I want to expand this way uh -huh. to the north. Now we need to extend the wall. So click on the grass. Wow, this is so much easier than The Sims. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> adding all these walls. We could just cover the entire front of the restaurant in glass. There, there you go. They're only 15. They're only 15. They're cheap as heck. Let's go mental. Now my dreams are coming true. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with glass. You're just a glass fiend. I just want to live in a big glass cube oh my God, in the this sky. This is so disgustingly unsymmetrical, Phil. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so disgusting. I'm sorry. I tried so hard on my own. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. If I could go on a plane with a completely glass floor, <laughs> yeah, I would sign up. What? A glass blotter? No, you wouldn't. I would. You'd be terrified. It'd be amazing. Whatever. It'd be so weird looking up at people and just seeing their butts <laughs> going through the sky. Yes, it, it would. <laughs> oh, look, it's a row of asses above me. Because in my mind, the seats are transparent as well. It's just a completely transparent plane. <laughs> That's what I'll do when There's I'm present. There's so many problems with what you just said. Okay, is this like restaurant land here? Yeah. You went for modern? I went for modern. You went for modern when you could have had Japanese I know. or Indian? Oh my god, let's look at that. 
Ju- oh my god. <laughs> Aesthetic. You could have had a cherry tree, Phil. What are you doing? I'm not level 20 yet. You I can- can't have that yet. Oh, so this is the point of the game. That's you le- the dream. <laughs> you level up so you can have more aspirational decorations. Yes. Okay. Wow, you gave me a carrot stick, a koi car <laughs> pond. Now That's I've got it. something to chase. We can have a koi so pond. So that wasn't the end, though. Does There's that mean Mexican, the, uh, Arabian. What is the most leveled up thing? Hawaiian. Yeah. Wow. Tiki so, so there, It is a fact in this universe that a Hawaiian restaurant is the height of cuisine. It's the pièce de résistance. That would be French, Phil. Oh. I mean, I do love a good Bahama breeze. I'm not <laughs> going to lie. So <laughs> what's the next one for me, then? Because I've had modern. I think it's time for a diner, is it? Oh, do you want to make your 50s dream a reality, Phil? Well, we need some diner tables. <laughs> <laughs> I like the you've still got all of your modern yeah. and classic <laughs> tables in the restaurant. They're gonna stay. This is like a metaphor for your life, Phil. No, There's it's not. no theme. There's windows only at the front. <laughs> I'm distressed. And then there's other chefs we can get. We can get a barman. He is this, yeah, that's like 11 out of 10 sassy. Okay, yeah. we need the barman because we can't make anybody espressos apparently. So, that seems like a good place for a bar. Yeah. Let's put that there. So there he goes. Oh, he's being built. Damn. We can he's... speed that up. What are they doing under there, delivery <laughs> boy? <laughs> Woo! Bonk. Oh yeah. That experience. Yeah. Is he happy with his life? Look at him. It's like Dill's dream. <laughs> That's what Dill wishes he was one day. Dill's gonna watch this video okay, and so be what like, can you what? do? Make an espresso. Oh yeah, but you need some beans first. Lots of beans, lots of beans, lots of beans, lots of beans. So we bought the beans. Uh-huh. And now we can make the we espresso. Can make the espresso. And now we're <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wow. Dill is jealous. I right could now. just spend hours watching the animation. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sassy. Did he just- what is he- He's twerking. Wow. Are there any other chefs that we can have? Japanese chef. We need that <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. I'm all about the stereotypes. Yeah, I mean, look at these people. <laughs> just get that in there. Slot him in right there. There we Poof. go. There oh, we go. look at oh, his little tree! He's got a bonsai tree! I feel like I want to put Mr. Japan somewhere else. I he think. looks very cool. He deserves to not be in the corner. He's gonna go here. You should get, like, every kind of chef, though, that you can. So let's see. You got a Mexican chef. Oh yeah, <laughs> an Italian chef, you needed a pizza! That Definitely. was offensive. Uh, put that there. I can go there. And then a stove helper. What's that? I don't What's know. that? That's... Is that just like general general heating? That's just someone to help. There. It's like Christmas, tap to open. Ah, hey. There we go, and then we can speed these up. Right, so now you can serve everything that these guys would want, surely. Yes. So we have a couple of coffees there, and yep. there's a woman that wants them, that so old lady. So you just get them from the bar like this. Shing! And then what happens? They go into your inventory, so then when someone wants a coffee... Like the old lady. Uh-huh. You can serve the coffee! Oh, but we can fulfil her order now, because we've got the Mexican chef. Yeah. I can do this all by myself, go watch me, I'm a big boy. We get the patty, and we put it on the thing. Yes. And there he is, we can speed that up. So then that's, that's being made. Let's Look at him! How he does just tossing an avocado in there. This, did he just wrap a burrito simply by throwing it into the I sky? I think he did. My god. And he breathes fire. I mean, that's not sanitary. That, who, who wants somebody to cook their food like that? That's a health I'm not hazard, sure about if that. there ever was one. So you can skip this to make it faster, but who would want to do that? I would just watch him. <laughs> so now we go to our lady, and, and we got the things. Boosh! Then she's happily oh, eating. Oh, look at her! She's got her little chewy cheeks. Did she just say, this is excellent? Yes! This is excellent! This is what life is all about, Phil. Pleasing customers. What does this chef man want to say? You can unlock a winemaker now. Ooh. Oh yeah. I've been wanting to unlock that. You'll need some gold. Do it, Phil. Yes. I don't want to alarm you, mm. but by getting all of those chefs, we seem to have quickly burned through all of your life savings oh. in like oh. three minutes in this video. I think it was worth it because now we have a winemaker. Your winemaker is unlocked. Now we need to learn how to grow and collect grapes. Rake that hoe. There we go. <laughs> we clean the field, grow more grapes. Uh, what do you want? White grapes. But, yeah, that's <laughs> red wine. That's a level 30 thing. Okay. I don't like red wine. Really? It's yeah, it tastes really intense. It's my fave. I'd rather have Ribena. We, we got a bottle of wine! Yeah! Have you ever wanted to be one of those people that steps on wine with their bare feet? That, do people actually do that anymore? On the grapes? They do! You can do it in Spain. In 2016, people yeah. still stomp on grapes. I but would what do if it. people have, like, smelly feet? True. It's like those fish that used to eat your feet skin. Uh, let's not oh. ruin wine uh, forever. Uh, uh, okay, Kanye, as well as the two creepy children, <laughs> want to be served. Kanye I can do this. and his demon children. Okay, they want... A Mexican chef taco-y thing. Okay. Kanye always wants a taco. <laughs> so where's your dough helper? He's there, he's doing nothing in the middle. Okay, so make some dough. Look at these little glinty teeth. I feel like 
this must be set in the same fictional universe as Dill's Town, because everybody's way too sexual I think so. I There's think that's no what's happening. This. Who could make Doe sexy? That guy. If I was trying to make Doe in a sexy way... It'd, it'd just be, be like, Whoa, <laughs> no. spinning a pizza and then just dropping on your head. <laughs> and then what's so special about Antipasti Lady? Go on then. Go on then. Sh show us what impresses this delivery. She is tossing that salad. Whoa, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I mean... Right, right. You, you deserve the delivery man. Yeah. That's okay. It's understandable. And then voila. Feed Kanye. Whoosh. He's looking very stern at the moment. Snazzy waiter. Snazzy waiter comes over and delivers. He loves They've it. They've got smiley emojis. Kanye and his demon twins. And there we go, they gave us some money. That sweet dollar. ching a -ling. Nice. <laughs> Did you just say that sweet dollar? <laughs> to be fair, I just said ka ching -a -ling. Why does that waitress do no work? We haven't seen her do anything this whole time. You are gonna get fired, Cynthia, if you don't start pulling your weight. Uh, she's called Lucinda. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dan. Oh, I forgot we how named could you her. Forget? Right, okay, so I get how to play the game now. The yes. people come, you fulfill their orders, they give you the cash, mm -hmm. which you then use to, most importantly, buy more decorations. Yes. So as Kanye just gave us some money, can we buy more things? Okay, I'm just going to collect this beef because it's distressing me. Beef! And now <laughs> let's decorate. We need a jukebox. That is the most essential thing in any diner. Every bit of your restaurant that clearly has a theme can have the decoration around yeah, it. Yeah, it'll all be so its own area. So you can go area. to the modern section and just surround it by that stuff. And when you get to Indian, you can just have like Indian corner. Ah. No, we need a Cadillac coming out of the door. What? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. And it's in diner corner. That's Should we incredible. just do it? There we yeah. go. And then we definitely need a pool table as well. Boom. Welcome to diner corner, people. They're going to love that. I feel sorry for our Japanese chef. Sorry. I hate working at Phil Donald's. And there's the dance floor. Yes, <laughs> because... With the jukebox there, yeah. you need the dance floor in between the stove helper and the Mexican chef. You don't do! You? What a great place for a dance floor in this Yes. If anything, you're just inspiring me to create my own restaurant, which can be neat and organized and well-themed. And then we'll fight to the death. Yes, in the ultimate restaurant battle. Hi, I'd like to buy some he of this. He has an eyebrow piercing. Could this guy get any more sexy? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Give him some of our tomatoes. All right, Are go you going to deny that piercing? And look, look at him run. Look at him run. He's e oh, God, he runs. He runs. Ah, uh, that's he, he's he dead going? to me now. I can't relate to somebody. <laughs> oh, and there's he off on his moped. Did he just plow across your grass? <laughs> Hello, he have some respect for the environment. Never come back. Antipasti lady sheds a tear. So if you're wondering what this is, Dan... <laughs> yeah, it looks like the MySpace logo, I was yeah. wondering. Well, it means that you can connect, like Dragon City, to the internet oh, and to, to all of your friends. I'm guessing you don't fight other chefs? No. So what do you do in this game? You can trade ingredients. Okay. And things like that. The login with Facebook. Okay. So you can visit other people's restaurants. Is this the guy from the game's restaurant? This is the world <laughs> chef. This is what it's meant to look like. <laughs> Oh my what? god, he, it's exactly what I said, Phil. He's got different zones. What? Are the, what? This is what the world this, should be this like. This is how to get you to keep playing something, to show you the goals. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on a tour of his. He's got a bar Holy with a beer crap. table and an aquarium, a well-organized storage place that's out of the way. A little Italian zone. Italian land over there. That makes your oh, diner look really I'm shit. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> they have a pool with like a freaking dance floor. I'm so jealous. I just want to visit there now. And celebs come on their yachts. Right, let's get out. Spoiler this, this, alert. This is just ruining our lives. Oh, yeah. so I'm guessing because this has the people logo on it. But yeah, this is where you buy things from people. Yes. And you're helping out your fellow humans yeah. out there that are also trying to eventually get a pool with a party yacht. You always help out Jeffrey with a slab of beef. So I... <laughs> okay, let's buy Jeffrey's beef. Mmm, there we go. There we go. Thanks, Jezza, for the beef. And this is Jezza's restaurant, which is, again, better than mine. So you can spy on people's restaurant. Oh yes. my god. So like we did with Dragon City, we've made our own Facebook account for World Chef, uh -huh. where you guys can add us in the description below. And then we can trade ingredients. Yes. And they can come to... Oh, and not only can you come to our restaurants, but we can snoop on yours. We're going to be snooping So here, hard. I bet some people out here have already played this for like 10,000 hours. And they'll be like, yeah, look at my restaurant. It'll be like space or something. <laughs> so we'll leave a link to the game down in the description if you want to check it out. And then we'll make another video where we can check out some of your restaurants. I will be judging all of you based on how, you know, well organized it is. <laughs> I am not expecting a cluster fluff like hey! this. With a wooden... Dance floor. We love it. In the middle of it. Okay, I guess we'll see. I'll plant the seed of something very mysterious slash exciting that we were told, which yes. I just, I, I've no idea what this means exactly, but <laughs> the people that made this game said that they're actually going to put a Dan and Phil surprise 
in it Ooh. that everybody in the game will see for when we do our next video. I'm excited. So I don't know what that means. Whatever that is. But I'm incredibly intrigued, <laughs> so stay tuned for that, and I look forward to judging all of your restaurants. Yeah, we're like Gordon Ramsay, but harsher. <laughs> Dan and Phil Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> no, we've literally just decided the name of the next video already. There you go. Well, there we go, people. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry now, <laughs> so if you're hungry too, oh my god, give this video what? a thumbs up. Did I don't know why I just said did that. Did you just I say... <laughs> If you're hungry, give me a th- What kind of new low have I you just I didn't mean hit? to say it, it just came out. I I've think, said it now. I, guys, that was Phil being random. That yeah. wasn't Phil scraping the bottom I'm of the YouTube scraping, barrel. Bring this back, yet. bring it back. You can click subscribe to see when we make our next video. Uh -huh. And I've linked our last Sims video over there as well. Thank you for watching. We're gonna go before we offend anybody else. Goodbye. Bye. What are you? An idiot sandwich.